always going to be where your ask notes are at. So for the domain, we would say that it would be x is a member of the reals. It can be anything with the one exception. What is that exception? For x, it's that one exception right there, such that x cannot equal negative 2. So notice that that was where my vertical asymptote was. Well, the range is the same thing. Notice it can be infinitely um, up, infinitely down, with the exception it cannot be at that one little point. So it's always going to be where those asymptotes intersect. So we would say that y can be anything with the exception that y cannot equal 0. Okay. Let's move on to the last page here. So kind of going a little bit backwards here, use the graph of y equals 1 over f of x to graph the linear function uh, y equals f of x. Okay? So we already have the uh, reciprocal function here. We're trying to find out what the, uh, the linear function looks like. So let's look at some of the information that we have here. So I'll make a little note. The vertical asymptote. is at x equals negative 0.5, right? So we see it's going through that point, and they even tell you right there, okay? So therefore, what can we say? Well, therefore, that is where the linear function crosses the x axis, right? That should make sense. If you go back to what we did before, right, we already had, like, I mean, I don't really know what this thing's going to look like quite yet, but let's say we have a function like that. Well, remember, when you went and tried to graph the reciprocal function, we said that you would have a horizontal asymptote wherever that crosses right there, okay? So I'll just get rid of that for now, but we know that that point's going to be important. Okay? Now, the next thing that we know is we're going to look for where um, we have y equal to 1 and y equal to negative 1, right? We're looking for those common points because we know that the graphs intersect at those common points. So I would see that this uh, reciprocal function that we have here is at 1 at that point and it's at negative 1 at that point. And so lo and behold, we have three points that make a straight line. Now all you can do is you can take your ruler and we have that reciprocal. We've used that reciprocal function to generate our linear function like that. So that concludes this lesson. Um, to review, what have we figured out? We've learned about these things called asymptotes. Asymptotes are, uh, are points for these reciprocal functions that just don't really make any sense, right? The graphs cannot be equal to those points. So as a result, uh, we have to put in those little dotted lines, and those are what are known as your asymptotes. The one interesting one is the horizontal asymptote, right? It always is going right through the middle here. It's always y equals 0. The, uh, the vertical asymptote, that's this one right here, it moves every little, uh, every once in a while. It'll move to the left or to the right. Uh, in the lessons to come, what we're going to learn about is um, it's possible for us to have more than one vertical asymptote, and that's when we're going to deal with taking the uh, reciprocal of, uh, of quadratic functions. Um, lastly, what I want you guys to uh, make sure you remember is that the other big thing that uh, we learned in this lesson is that these points that are common right here, they're common when y is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1, those are very important because those help us graph our uh, linear function or our reciprocal function. All right, that concludes this lesson.